It's film review time. Ready Roo. On the left, we have T Max 400 from Kodak. It is a tabular grain, panchromatic, uh, continuous grain film. Yeah? Yeah, from 1986. Today, it is facing off against Ilford Delta 400, also a tabular grain film, or as Ilford likes to call it, Crystal Core. Yeah, Crystal Core. I think it came out in 1993 to compete directly with T Max, um, panchromatic, continuous, pretty much the same. Yeah, yeah, they compete with each other, imagine that. Anyways, let's go. And just like last week, we are going to go four rounds. Tone, resolution, sharpness, and grain. I thought these were going to be closer. I thought this was going to be very similar to the HP5 Tri-X sort of ordeal. And as the video goes on, they are pretty close. But with tone here, I just find it really interesting that these, these two shots here from my bathroom, they have the exact same settings. And the, the contrast is, is quite noticeable. Um, for me, I like the contrast more on the T-Max. I, I like that really white wall and it really, I really like how do I say this? I am separated from the background, which creates some depth, which is a lot nicer than the Delta one, which is still nice looking, but everything's really, really gray. Um, I like the tones, they're fine, but I prefer the contrasty tones of the T-Max. Um, so yeah, with that being said, I'm gonna go 12 stars for the T-Max and 10 stars for the Delta. I mean, you can see everything, literally everything. If you can't find what you're looking for in either one of these films, you ain't trying hard enough. Uh, 15 stars for both. Honestly, it's too sharp. Yeah, I said it. It's too sharp. I don't like how sharp it is. I just don't. And I'm not even using a sharp lens. So, um, I don't know. Three stars for each. They're both really fine grain films. Um, in the T-Max, it's almost not noticeable, especially with like really good quality light, which most of this was, especially with the flash. Um, you almost can't see it, which uh, if you know me, I don't like that. So five stars. Um, Delta, on the other hand, it's a little more pronounced. It's still a very fine grain film. It's competing with T-Max, obviously. That's what this is all about. Um, I think there's just the way I shot for whatever reason. Um, there's a little more grain, it's a little more pronounced, and uh, yeah, that's more what I enjoy. So eight stars for that one. Yeah. Cool. Delta wins. I'm sorry, I don't know why I threw that. That was that was rude of myself. There we go. Yeah, I mean, like I said last week, I'm an Ilford boy now, I guess. Um, not I guess, I am. I don't know, it, it uh, was just slightly better than the T-Max. I like the tone better, I, or sorry, I like the grain better. I preferred the tone on the T-Max, but that honestly could just be due to quality of light and user error, so who knows. Um, yeah, go Delta, go Ilford.
Woo. Although I'm probably not going to shoot much delta. I really just, I need more grain and less sharpness for my style of shooting and what I enjoy looking at. And that's what this is all about. So, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, before I get into breaking down some photos um, or just talking about some, I don't really have any that I necessarily love or I think are amazing, but I will talk about some. Um, I just want to know if you guys enjoyed this series, like the, not just the film review, but the, the verses. Um, we are getting a, there's one more or like one very obvious one I could do that would be easy to do as in my local camera store carries it and it is T-Max 3200 versus Delta 3200, um, which I think might be a good change of pace. Could probably go out like at night maybe and get some more interesting shots that way. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. If you want to see that, let me know. Um, I have a few different videos lined up coming out that aren't like film review based. I, uh, I cleaned up my grandpa's old camera, my, his, one of his old SLRs, a Sheenon C04, so I don't know, I don't know. I've been shooting the roll with it today with a little Nikon Speed Flash. Speed Flash has been used in like a lot of these videos, by the way. Um, speed Flash, Speed Light. Um, so yeah, you're probably going to see a video about that old camera. Um, I need to test out my RB67. Well, actually, I did test it out. I need to develop it. It's right there. Um, I have a personal project I want to do and I'm trying to figure out what camera to do that on. Um, yeah, so probably a video about an RB67. Yay, how original, I know. But um, yeah, anyways, photo time. Obviously, we're going to start with Jane because Jane and uh, I love Jane. Jane is my life and Jane is my savior. So uh, enjoy some photos of Jane as much as I enjoy some photos of Jane. Cool. Next, we have the uh, we have this one of the bridge, and some geese underneath. Um, this was shot with the the speed light I was talking about. I think it did quite well. There wasn't much light here, um, but and I was kind of worried about reflections off like, the metal there and the water itself. I do have a polarizer on my my uh, my camera, but it's a rangefinder, so you can't really see what the polarizer is doing. I I just kind of have it marked where it's. Uh, like 90 to the sun usually, but it's difficult. Anyways, it turned out quite well. I wish the, uh, I should have maybe, wish I had more light on the geese down there. It uh, would have drawn your attention a little bit more to them. Um, they're just kind of hiding in the shadow of the bridge, which creates like this line, but yeah, I enjoy it. I think there's like some strong lines here and some good composition and definitely something to work with. Um, next, we went back to the walking bridge um, that I shot last week. With uh, I shot like through it. This week, I decided to shoot like the length of it. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's a fun bridge. It creates some cool textures. Uh, creates some really cool depth. Um, yeah, I had some fun playing around in there. I think I'm gonna go back on a Saturday when there's a lot more people, and I think there'll be a lot more opportunities for some interesting photos. Um. Like I said, not the most amazing week for photos. It got really cold um, and yeah, I don't know. I'm, look, I'm a human being and uh, yeah. So anyways, I have three photos here. Um, this first one is of a woman and her friend pushing a mattress up a very icy hill. Um, the reason I'm showing this, I don't think it's an amazing photo, but I was trying to get a good photo of her, <laughs> but I really couldn't. So there's this one and then I followed her up the hill and this hill is, uh, there's some snow on the ground finally. And uh, children and families like to play around here with their sleds and whatnot. I go here regularly and try to take photos. Um, I've shared one of this before. Um, again, I don't love this photo. I, I can't figure out a nice composition here for some reason. Need to try a little harder. Um, anyways, if you look the very left corner of the photo, you can see that mattress. <laughs> you don't see her, but you see the mattress. And uh, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I was trying to get kind of she was on the road, walking down the road, and I was trying to get like some sort of, I was trying to get on the outside of her and use something of the foreground to frame her, like a car or like a street lamp or more people, um, but I really just couldn't do it. Um, eventually, I was, she was walking pretty quick and I started losing her, so I just kind of waste shot this one. Um, and uh, it's probably the most interesting of them all, but it's got like a true street photo vibe to it. Um, it's still not a good photo though. Well, it's okay. There's just, whatever. I was trying to make this person an unwilling participant of my photography and it didn't work. You win some, you lose some. You lose most, but hey, that's, uh, that's life. 
Um, yeah, that's all I got. That's all I got. It, uh, man, I just gotta say, like, thank you. I, like, I don't know. It, it's interesting when you start putting stuff out there and people watch it and enjoy it and they talk to you about it. And I don't know. It's humbling. It's uh, rewarding. It's motivating. And um, yeah, uh, I like doing these. I also, uh, I uh, have registered to do some upgrading for school. And uh, I looked at some of it yesterday. Please help these videos be seen. I want to make videos. Yeah, I said it. I'll make content to make a living. Because, uh, yeah. Oof. Learning's good, but um, I think I just want to create right now. Anyways, this is too personal, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just talking to a camera and I'm putting it online. Because what else do you do to try to make a living in 2024? I don't know. Anyways, love you, thank you. Like, comment, subscribe, or don't. I don't know, do what you wanna do. You're a human being, you're free. Love you, bye.